What's up, guys? Jason Alexander, Blue Moon Neptune, here to help you navigate through the illusions of life. You watching Mark and Moon Lord, where we merge the Matrix with the stars. And today we're gonna go over the Jake Paul and Mike Tyson fight. Um, just so you guys know, I want Mike Tyson to win. I like Jake Paul, but uh, I can't see Mike Tyson go out like that. That would be too much. Um, this will be the first time I'm looking at uh, both of their charts together uh, for this uh, event. I was setting it up and then I figured I will show you guys how to set it up for anyone who might want to do it, you know, themselves one day. Um, what's cool about doing stuff like this is I get to practice my astrology. I get to understand it more. Um, and as I think about and make these predictions and then we see the fight, that helps me understand, um, okay, that worked, this worked, da, da, da. Now, we could go, you know, I could go really far into into researching um like for example like if i was betting a million dollars on this fight i would look at every fight mike tyson ever had and i would look at their chart for that day the same with jake paul um and i just don't have the time to to uh look at their chart and see what trends they had at that particular moment at this particular moment but tomorrow i might take a deeper look and then i'll update you guys on my twitter um more information i might uh see uh anyway so uh the top one is mike tyson and this is his chart that he was born with and um yeah i've seen this chart many times he has an interesting chart and this is um jake paul's chart to the left and then over here would be jake paul's chart to the to the to the bottom right but this outer wall is where the current stars are. So you'll see Mars is right there. And so Mars is right here on this one, too, because that's where the current stars are. OK, when they were born is the inner wheels. For the ones that may not know, right? The inner wheel. OK, um, so I have to redo this, but I was doing this before we started. And then I was like, oh, I'll show I'll show how to go through this process. So you can make an account with Astro theme and um, you can save uh, celebrities and stuff like that. Um, they don't always have like uh, for sure dates and everything like that. So we don't know Mike Tyson's uh, birth time. So we don't have his ascendant. So we are kind of flying um, with kind of hmm, trying to think of a decent analogy. We can see what's ahead of us, but we don't have a we don't really have a map of his chart. For example. We know that um, the sun is over here and the moon is over there, but we don't really know like um, how everything lines up on the actual radar. Like we're flying without a radar almost, right? But we kind of know like where the planets are because we can see the sun, we can see the moon, right? That, that's like a weird analogy, but it kind of makes sense. But I can understand if it doesn't make sense because <laughs> astrology is... Uh, one of those things that don't always make sense, right? Unless you, like, make it make sense in your mind, right? So, okay. Anyway. So, first of all, Mike Tyson is a cancer, right? That's very, very interesting right off the bat. And then what's also interesting is um, Jake Paul is a Capricorn, okay? So, Capricorn and Cancer, ironically, are opposite of each other. That's crazy, okay? So if you look here, the Capricorn sign is here, and the Cancer sign is that guy right there, okay? Um, so think about that, all right? We have two people um, that are naturally opposite on, from the actual stars, right? I, I wanted to fix... Where is the Mike Tyson fight? Wanted to make sure I had it in the right. Um, and we need to make sure we have it in the right. Um, what's it called? Uh, time zone. Austin, Texas. Come on. Okay.
Okay, sorry about that. It's messing me up. All right, Mike Tyson. So right off the bat, we have someone who is very hard. That would be Jake. All right, Capricorn is a very hard sign. Is a very um, like it's like the stubborn old guy, and then um, Cancer is the mom of the zodiac. Right, it's the um, the nurture. It's very soft. It's the crap that hides in the shell. Right. But the thing you want to understand about cancer is the thing you want to understand about all water signs is water can kind of like transmute into anything, right? And once the water is like boiling, it becomes very lethal, you see? Um, so Mike Tyson is definitely a man who operates off of his e emotions, and which is very cancer-like, right? Um, so yeah, do not think because a water sign is emotional or whatever, they're not like... Um, hard or whatever uh they definitely could be so that doesn't really so when i see capricorn and cancer naturally you think like the capricorn would be a better fighter because capricorn just seems like more of a fighter type energy but you're wrong because the cancer is first of all the moon right it's the other regal sign of the zodiac next to leo which is the sun only cancer and only the sun or, or, and only Leo is ruled by one planet. Leo is ruled by the sun, and Cancer is ruled by the moon, right? All the other signs are ruled by two different planets. So if you told me you were Aries, I would say you're ruled by uh, Mars, and you're also ruled by Pluto, okay? So whenever we see the sign Cancer, especially from the sun, this is a very strong very strong placement. And if you think about it, the the regal sun that belongs to Leo is with Cancer, the regal queen, the regal moon, right? So it's very interesting, okay? So yeah, do not sleep on Cancer. Cancer is an extremely sign, strong sign in a lot of different ways. Uh, Elon Musk is a Cancer, um, and uh, there's a lot of great Cancers out there. And I, I just want a little cancer rant, 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 rant. So if I had to say who's stronger from the sun, I'm going to have to give it to the cancer. But that's like, I, I shouldn't even say it like that because that's not really a thing. But the sun is, it's a good position is what I'm saying. Now, what's also interesting is both of them are conjunct Jupiter and um, the sun. Now, we know Jupiter rules expansion, okay? Wherever you see Jupiter, you see a lot of expansion. So here we see a lot of expansion from the, the mind, from the eagle, eagle eagle <laughs> ego so um who else has that i'm pretty sure kanye west has this uh, let's see so these are the type of people since jupiter rules belief systems um they have rules like uh optimism uh it's very hard to tell these people anything and it's very hard for these people not to believe in themselves okay um so they both believe they're gonna win that is for sure uh, and they both would never go down without a serious fight. See, I remember my stars. That's Kanye. Jupiter conjunct. Uh, you see, you see how his Kanye's personality is, right? So yeah. Final thing, I presume that Mike Tyson is walking with right now. Is there anything you want to say to him? <laughs> Mike, I love you, but this is my sport now. It's an honor to get in the ring with you. I'm so so honored you're a legend, but. I'm gonna take your throne, brother. <laughs> There's a fundamental difference between me and Jake. He's a manufactured killer. Television and paper made him a killer. He's manufactured. I'm a natural born killer. That change, that's the difference. Yeah, I tell you what, whenever, if you're ever feeling unmotivated, go watch yourself a Mike Tyson motivations um, video, straight up. So, yeah, Mike Tyson definitely wants to win. Jake Paul definitely wants to win. Um, so what I'm going to do, I just realized they're fighting on that full moon. Man, that's, oof, man, that's crazy. I really just realized that. That's wild. Damn. Okay, so whenever it's a full moon, we know that the moon is with or is directly opposite of the sun. Okay. So sun's 24 degrees Scorpio, so the moon needs to be 24 degrees Taurus because that's opposite of Scorpio, okay? Um, I know they're going to make me do this again. I'm sorry about... Oh, I don't have to do it again. Oh, wait, is that both my signs? Hold on. 
yeah, the box say my text now. So what I want to do here, I have to do uh, Jake Paul again. So from since oh that's me. Probably not going. Since um, it's a Taurus full moon. That's basically in harmony with both of the um, signs. However, that's more harmony with uh, Jake because it's Earth energy and um, Taurus is Earth sign. But um, water and Taurus also goes together, so I'm not too worried about that. Not to mention the Sun is in a um, water sign as well. Now that full moon is also conjunct um, Uranus, which is uh, very disrupting. Um, so think about that for the stock market as well. And um, very good energy for a fight. <laughs> I mean, a full moon on top of Uranus is, is extremely good energy for an epic fight. I, I will say that. Okay. So for Mike Tyson... Um, Remember, we don't have his time, so I'm just kind of looking at his planets. Interesting. All right, first thing I'm going to say is Mike has Mars right on his um, Mercury. That's good because Mars rules um, information, sh strategy, how we think and process things. So he's going to be very, very sharp from the mind with Mars at in a very strong position of Leo. Like he's going to be laser focused with that energy. And he's going to have a lot of energy period to like, like he's going to be focused the entire time. Like the focus, I think I feel like for this fight, Mike Tyson's has probably been very focused on maintaining focus. Right. And look at that. Then Mercury's on his, on his moon at the same time. That's, that's pretty interesting. Um, from the sky. So even on a mental place, he, he's, he's, mentally strategizing making sure he stays calm like mercury is calm and collected um it's rational so he's emotionally sound as well as you know passionately charged up and laser focused very interesting the sun is on his um neptune which would suggest that he is um going to be more creative on this fight um he may ooh, you know mike tyson can be a little dirty uh this isn't a scorpio on on top of his neptune like this could be i can see some little bit of like you know cheap shots with this one hopefully no ear biting um but you never know he might lose it this is a full moon energy this is a full moon energy like he might you know he has he, he might really be in a, in a in that killer instinct mode for this fight you know what i'm saying like, uh, yeah, interesting. Um, where's where his north? What's his north node, dude? So his north node is where is that? It's kind of hard to see. North node is your destiny point. Oh, it's in Taurus. Whoa, twenty-four degrees. Whoa. Oh man. No, Tyson's winning, guys. Did I just? So look at this. This is your destiny points in 24 degrees Taurus. I didn't see it before because um, how far away it is. Like it's, but that's his, his, his north node is on top of his, the, the full moon is on top of his north node. What the, yeah, that is interesting. More Neptune energy. Hmm. Titan square the moon. Right before Saturn returned. Hmm. It's telling me a story of a final chapter closing the the last twenty eight years closing because it takes Saturn about twenty eight years. He's coming. He's coming into a Saturn return. Saturn returns always come with a 
either a milestone or the opposite. Because Saturn rules reality and the karma you've built over the 28 year cycle um, that can go from 28 to 30 something, 32 ish, depending on retrogrades, which is why often people tend to mature during those ages. Um, but that's a different conversation. But yeah, he's uh, this will definitely be uh, the last uh, the last chapter, probably when it comes to his fight, his fighting legacy and is ending with a serious bang. Interesting. I like it. I mean, if without seeing Jake's chart, I would say uh, he's the winner all day. Um, this would be now. We do know Jake's time, and that full moon is on his ascendant. Wow, on top of his moon. What in the world? Jeez. Yeah. Do you guys see that? I mean, we can't make that up, but this is a very much, this is a big fight for both of their lives. I feel like this is a big one. I guess this would probably be Jake's biggest fight, maybe. Um, I would think so. I never really cared about his fights before this one. Um, Let's see. I mean, I, I kind of checked it out here and there, but... Yeah, he's having a full moon in the first house. If I saw somebody having a full moon in the first house, especially an exalted full moon, full moon, what I mean by that, the moon does best in Taurus. It's a very strong full moon next to a planet who does worse in Taurus, uh, which is Uranus. So that's interesting. Exalted planet with the um, debilitated planet in the sign of Taurus. Interesting. Full moon in his first house. Very disrupting first house energy okay we don't know where that uranus was in it for um tyson we just know it was on his north node which is just as destructive that actually mike tyson's um having the full moon on top of his with uranus right on top of his north node i'm gonna have to give it to him as as the as being like more powerful especially since it was literally exactly on those degrees where um Jake has a little bit of a uh, two degree conjunction off of that. And then the Uranus has a three degree conjunction off of that. Right. Um, but it's still extremely powerful, powerful uh, for Jake. And trying Uranus is actually a very good um, trying. The sun is actually very nice for his reputation because Uranus is in the first house and it's uh, making a trine to a sun that's basically on his midheaven, which is very strong for a fighter, extremely strong for a fighter. And Uranus is uh, is also in his mid midheaven, which is, I would say, extremely strong for a fighter as well. Um, so I feel like he's coming out of this fight very respectable, but I feel like Mike Tyson is as well. So if I had to call it, Well, I think right now, um, my instincts are telling me Mike. And Jake may have, wow, Jake's coming through a Saturn return as well. It's interesting. Remember I said Saturn returns are reality checks. Oh, man. What the? Wow. No, Jake. No. No. What is going on? Sorry, guys. Next week's going to be so crazy. Woo. <laughs> but yeah, this is interesting for Jake. Wow, and he gets the kite? No. Oh, it's not it's kinda off. No, it's is it the kite? Can you see the kite in that in that chart right there? 
but it's not it's not quite a, a kite let me see jupiter fire No, it's off these two things see how the, those aren't lined up on the same planets almost close to a grand trine kite which is pretty epic but yeah this is um even though i mean still this is pretty legit um the retrograde and it's he he's coming he's getting a, some type of w from this, this is for sure the saturn return is interesting like he's definitely stepping into another chapter as well and that Pluto zero degrees on top of his midheaven, zero degrees, like he's coming into some new power, a power shift, sudden change. This could, this could be uh, deals with money, sex, things that were hidden, um, you know, things coming out of nowhere, accidents, um, risk taking, um, investing, um, you know, luck. Unluck, unlucky um uh, this is lethal energy for jake like very strong especially with um uranus in his first house um when i say lethal i mean like this is a you know this is a potent to where a bang can happen a bang a bang right like his life it's definitely about the change with the Saturn return coming in like this and that full moon being in his first house. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Interesting. And Tyson's, it's like the Saturn's in the same spot. They're opposite signs. Um, he's a Cancer. Sun is in the can favorable, favorable sign of Scorpio. Interesting. I wonder if Tyson's going to get in Jake's mind, in his head. Jake's pretty poised though, because he has that moon in Capricorn, and sun and and uh, or moon and Taurus, sun and Capricorn. So that's very two very 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 strong placements for someone who's like mentally solid, stable. Okay, I'm gonna have to give this some more thought, and update you guys later, maybe on my Twitter. Um, because this is too crazy to really say, I mean, I feel like Mike Tyson's chart has a lot of protection in it. I mean, a full moon though, on top of that, uh, that North node, Ooh, man. Man. I'm not going to lie. If I had to say whose chart looks probably more powerful for a shift in their life, I'm going to have to give it to Jake because of that. That that Pluto right here on top of his midheaven is undeniable, especially since it's been going, especially since it just went through his sun and Jupiter. Like, he's been going through a lot. Um, He's been preparing for this moment and I'm giving it to him but Tyson's walking away with a very respectable fight I think both of these guys are going to be friends and respected respect each other and I know that's like stupid t fight talk but just the fact that they're opposite signs they're both coming into a Saturn return I mean this is a big moment for both of them um, and, um, I'm definitely looking forward to watching this one. So you guys let me know what you think. You guys let me know if you like this type of DD. Uh, I know I kind of rambled along, but if you guys, you know, found it interesting, let me know. Uh, you all have given me feedback on the other videos and that gave me motivation and the energy to do this one. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, so until next time. This is Jake Snow, Alexander Bloom and Neptune here to help you navigate through the illusion of life. You're watching Mark Moon Alert, Warrior Merge Mission with the Stars. Till next time, one second, one moment. Um, one thing I definitely want to say is we're coming into a full moon, and I've been hyping up this full moon. 
which it's pretty hype right now. Like I feel like I feel like people feel this full moon coming in, right? Things have been hype, period. So it is what it is. But we've we've seen this story below before. The moon lords that have been around for a while know that we have caught our wins and our losses, right? And the setup is there. Everyone can clearly see see the setup, but the full moons are sudden changes, endings and beginnings, um, climaxes. So I mean, it's it's um, don't you know don't overwork yourself up emotionally. You know, think of me as somebody who just is here for entertainment purposes, uh, maybe a little bit of hopium. But it's not like we're going to, um, you know, bet our life saving savings best based on the moon phases, right? We need to be like smart about things, um, and we need to understand the risk. I'm fully aware that we get a lot of times we get sudden changes during full moons, and a lot of times it's not the right way that we would like. Okay, I have real money on the line. And I I understand that it could really be like cut in half in a blink of a second, if not more. Okay, so I have the understanding. I hope you all do too. Um, you know, I'm very optimistic about this time. But at the end of the day, like this is still the same AMC that we, you know, a lot of us have been in for years, right? So I I understand if nothing happens and we have to continue to work, right? Um, but this week and next week look very promising for multiple reasons i'll keep you guys updated um so follow me on twitter and all that good stuff and uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe i appreciate you guys for being here until next time i'll talk to you later peace